Have so you noticed Christian, Christian marriages too? today yeah. falling in line with the world's teachings and the world's ways and compromising and adopting worldly ways, right? What damage do you think that's done? And I could even say in the right. church, what damage do you think that's done? I think, yeah, I've, I've seen it done with people going to uh, questionable conferences, reading books mm. uh, that have ideas that aren't really touching on the issue. It's almost like they, they want pragmatic things, mm -hmm. but yeah, not yeah, yeah, yeah. things that are biblical, things that right. work right? rather than things right. that are eternal and things that deal with like the what's underneath it all. Mm. You know, right. pragmatism just deals with the surface stuff to make it work. But the scriptures really dig into, right. you know, what's broken. Mm. You know what I'm I saying? Like yeah. Um, yeah. So I, I, I've seen marriages just settle, you know, for artificial just relationship. Mm -hmm. And as long as he's doing his job and buying me things and doing this, right. we're good. You know, it's like, no, you know, he there, there's, there's something underneath that needs to be done. Yeah some renovation in, in the soul. Right. Um, and so I think uh, when they fall in line with worldly teaching, they're just settling for temporal things, settling for temporal fixes, uh, artificial, you know, earthly, uh, or even like uh, the scriptures say, you know, just uh, things that just fall in line with just natural thinking. Mm -hmm. Rather than, you know, having a meta narrative in their marriage. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I like that. Yeah. 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 And I think without without the worldly influence, we can mess that up ourselves. Just our own. <laughs> we don't thinking. need the world to mess up. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> our own. Because we right. that's what that's the stuff we bring into the marriage. And mm -hmm. I think lack of being educated biblically. Um, mm -hmm. There is the companionship part of your marriage. We're mm -hmm. not just saying the bigger picture the meta narrative mm -hmm. we represent christ and his relationship to the church right. yeah that's the big goal that's our go-to and our foundation yeah and yeah. in the process by god's grace we can have a companionship with someone in that process mm -hmm. where it's not just a position and it's just a business i'm the husband you're the wife mm -hmm. you represent christ that's all it is mm -hmm. no it's, it's life to be lived is you know all right laughs to be laughed and and tears to be and i think yeah, yeah. either we can make it all pragmatic or we can make it just all biblical to the point where well what does that look like on a day-to-day -day basis mm -hmm. right all theory and, yeah all right yeah. right all theory or all pragmatic yeah. and, it, and there's yeah. this beautiful woven piece that christ displayed while he walked the earth of what that looked like yeah mm -hmm. As he showed love to the father and love to the disciples while he was alive. Yeah, mm. it was wasn't just theory, and it wasn't just pragmatism. It was it was both. He lived it out. It's something we live out. We flesh right. this thing out. But it starts with, for me, it had to start with being renewed in how I thought marriage should look like. Mm. Once I got our eyes off of our marriage and how I could make it so it benefited me. And Christ really became my example. And we learned those lessons quick during hard times. Like, that's just, <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah. During yep. hard times. Um, yeah. That's when things started getting better. Right. We're, we're, getting, we're getting better at it. <laughs> we're not yeah. perfect, but we're getting better at it. Yeah. So.